Today's devotion is all about your attitude. What's your attitude toward God, your attitude toward others, and even your attitude toward yourself? Philippians 2 says, Have this mind or attitude among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Have you ever said to your child, you need to change your attitude? Isn't it accurate to say that sometimes our attitude is good and sometimes it isn't? Isn't it accurate to say that our attitude can make an enormous difference in a day and in a relationship. Isn't it true that our attitude affects the way we live and the way we treat others? Paul's instructions are clear. In the context, he is writing about how God's people should relate to one another. He says, have this same attitude as Christ Jesus. He goes on to say that Jesus' attitude led him to humble himself and to be our servant. His attitude or mindset led him to give up his life so that others might be righteous. Now there's a challenge to copy that. Whatever any day might bring, it is wise for us to do an attitude check. Are we seeking our own good or are we seeking the good of others? Are we looking at how bad we have it or how good we can make life for others? As Jesus' crucifixion drew near, his attitude of love and service led him to willingly face the Father's wrath. Jesus loved us enough to lay down his life for us. Today is a day for us to show his love and service to others. We pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for your attitude of love and service and sacrifice. Through the gift of your forgiveness, strengthen me so that my attitude might be the same as yours, and through my words and my actions, I might be a blessing to others. In Jesus' name.